all right guys welcome to my video in this video i'm going to be going over 12 different combinations with various variations of some of those combinations so what i mean by that is once some of these combinations i'm going to be adding punches into them as we go along the video so let's get started the first combination is he throws a jab i throw a jab back he slips that jab and he throws an uppercut Basically a regular counter punch move and it's very effective, very easy to practice. Boom, boom. You can either practice that with your partner or by yourself. That's the beauty of it. You know, that's the beauty of boxing. You can do your combinations and exercises, whatever you want, however you want. However, this is a video for when you want to practice with your uh, boxing partner, basically. Also keep in mind, you know, he is still learning boxing he's not actually a boxer he is an mma practitioner so he just wanted to come in and work on his box a little bit more so don't critique him too much second combination is very easy he throws one two and then he slips a one two back so very simple and then actually we're going to build off of that combination as we go through this combination so one two slip slip so right now, at the end of that slip, of the second slip, he's going to throw a lead hook. So one, one, slip, slip, lead hook, boom. And the reason for that is because once you slip to that side and as you're coming back, it is very easy to use your momentum and the weight shifting to really bring that power into that hook as well, right? Because also as you, they throw their second punch, as you cross, right? And you slip as they're coming back, if you're fast enough, you can actually land a pretty good lead hook. So right here, it's the exact same combination, but instead of that lead hook to the face, he's going to throw a liver shot. Same concept, it's just your momentum and power, your weight, putting that weight and momentum to that shot as you slip. This is this is something you can actually like really use in a real sparring situation, right? If you're fast enough, after they throw that cross, you know, their liver is open. So right here, it's the exact same thing as before, but at the end, after that liver shot, he basically throws a right overhand as well. Once again, he's just it's just momentum, liver shot, and then he shifts his weight right back into that right hand. So one, one, slip, slip, liver shot, right hand. So in this combination, he throws a one, two, block, and then from that block, he throws it right back and then finishes with a lift hook. So one, two, block, two, three. One, two, block, two, three. One, two, block, two, three. So the exact same combination, different variation. At the end, instead of the lead hook, he throws a liver shot. I really like to combine defense and level changing in the same combinations because then it becomes it's like second nature to you but you also become a lot more unpredictable because you know you're throwing you're throwing um you're throwing face shots you know you're punching to the face then you're blocking using your defense and then you go to the body and as we go through the different combinations you're going to see where he changes from face punches to body punches and then back to face punches too so this combination right here is a little bit awkward where he throws a left hook and the right hook and then he steps back as I throw a jab at him. This is more of a, um, a balance builder of a combination in my opinion. It's not something that I personally would use in a real life situation. But I, I think personally sometimes it's nice to work on combinations that feel kind of unnatural just so that you can work on your balance and feel how you rebalance yourself as you're doing those combinations three four step back right and i mean it might be helpful to you when you you're exchanging punches in the on the inside and then you just want to get out right because boxing is just like get in punch then get out so this combination is a very simple one and most people know it already but some of you might not it feels a it's a very natural feeling combination where you can use it with power speed and so on and so on right it's one two three uppercut 
very easy combination. It feels very natural for pretty much anybody. One, two, three, four. Boom, 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 boom. All right, so right here, as I was talking about changing levels and throwing, going from the head to the body. So it's the same thing. One, two, three, and that instead of the uppercut with the right hand, he goes to the body. One, two, boom, boom. Because if you think about it, it's like one, two, three to the head, to the head on their left side or right side if you're punching, right? So their guard is already like right here. You know, that side is open. So this combination right here, I really like myself personally and I practice it all the time. It's where you go jab to the face, cross to the body and then lead hook to the face again. So you're changing levels. And if you do it fast and hard enough, you can, you can really do some serious damage. So right here, as you can tell, he kind of loses his balance after that too, as he tries to come back to his lid hook. So in a moment, I'm going to actually ask him to just do the cross the body so that he can practice shifting his weight and momentum just to the body. And then after that, we're going to put it all together. So right here, as I was talking about, I just asked him to do the cross to the body. And that's something you can do too, is like when you are doing a combination, and you're kind of struggling to regain your balance try to just work on one of those punches right on one two like you know you can do a partial combination until it feels right until you find that ground for yourself and then you put it all together just like right here boom you know it already improved right away because he kind of understands how to throw that two and regain his balance so in this combination he's going to throw at one He's gonna block with the same on the same side and lit hook and then the right. So one block, three, two. So right here we're doing the exact same combination, but at the end, instead of the face cross, he's going to throw that cross to the body. So one block, lit hook, cross to the body. So right here, I'm basically telling him to take his time with the combination and regain his balance, find his grounding, because I'm gonna pause here right now. So basically, you want well, every time you train, you want to think of it as quality over quantity. You want to do your combinations as perfect as possible, you know, to the best of your ability, because the more quality punches you throw, the more quality combinations you do, the more the better you're gonna get, right? And the, obviously, and the better you get, the more quantity is gonna come because the more quality you do in the beginning, the better you get, the more technical you get, the more quantity you can do. And it's just like, it's just like a snowball effect that improves your boxing like a lot and faster. Right? So see, you do, you do your combination slow if you're struggling, right? Your combination, you regain your balance and then you do it a little bit faster. So this combination right here, all he's doing is throwing a one, two, lead, uppercut, and then lead hook. And then there are going to be a few other variations of this combination as well. Because sometimes when you're going to find is that some combinations, they don't really feel natural to you at all. So then you might want to switch your punch a little bit and just play with it until it feels more natural to your style or your, your body composition or whatever. So right here, basically, he's going to do the exact same thing. He's going to throw one, two, liver hook, and then a regular hook, right? One, two, liver, regular hook. Boom. One, two, boom, boom. So here's the other combination. In this combination, he's going to throw a jab, and he blocks, block, and then from the second block, he's going to throw that two. So, one block, block two. One block, block two. One block, block two. In this combination, I, I really love this one right here. Something I personally do all the time in sparring is like jab head, jab body. Because you can build off of it so, so much, you know. So for example, right here, I ask him to finish it with the cross, right? You go to the head, you go to the body, and you go back to the head. You can do it very fast, and you can do it very powerful too, if you like straight punches. It's great stuff great stuff so right here 
is gonna do one, two, one, two. But the second two is gonna go to the body and then the, the, the rest of the combination is going to go to the head. So jab to the head, cross to the body, jab, and then cross the body, uh, to the head again. So one thing he could do better in this combination if you pay attention is that when he throws that body cross, he doesn't really change the levels and he throws it almost from his regular stance, which you don't really want to do because first of all, when you throw down, you're exposing yourself on the right side a lot and you lose a lot of power and you lose a little bit of your reach as well because if you extend your arm all the way straight like this, this is your reach, right? If you go up a little bit or you go down a little bit, you, you start to lose your reach, right? And as you lose your reach, you might not manage your distance very well and you're gonna lose power too. So, one, two, one, two. See what I mean? I'm gonna rewind right here. Right here, right? So he's not really changing levels much. And look how exposed he is on the right side, right? right? And not only that, he he lost a little bit of his reach and therefore he, there is no real power behind that punch. All right. And then another variation is basically he's gonna throw one, two, and then liver. And then he's gonna, I'm gonna add another punch at the end. One, two, liver. One, two, liver shot, boom. And then I ask him also after that liver shot, throw another body shot from his right side as well. So one, two head, liver shot, and then the last two shots to the body. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If it was really helpful to you, please leave a comment. Let me know what you like, what you didn't like, so I can actually improve on some things as well. And what you like so that I actually know what you want to see more of. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel if you're new. I post a lot of different workouts and ideas for you to improve your training and make it a little bit more fun, more diverse, and so on and so on. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.